what can young players who might be watching this thinking, how can I become an Arsenal KL on board? Yeah, I, I think is um, a lot of it obviously is, you know, Arsenal is a great club, has always been, you know, particularly on, on the football side. We want to have fabulous people, you know, who want to make, you know, the people around them better. Um, and are willing to learn and, and to listen, you know. Humility plays a big part in, in our days and, and, and people we're looking at is someone willing to learn and, and consistently work no matter how good they are. This is how we're going to move forward, you know. And, and for us it's, it's really to challenge our boys every single day but we need to be the helping hand as well. We need to really care for them and, you know, that's what we want to bring to the table and that's what people can expect from us as well. What was it like for you when you were a youth player? Yeah. Really young, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Did you have these facilities? Like no, no, it was different, you know, and, you know, it's, it's difficult, it's really difficult to compare, you know, 20 years ago. Um, however, you know, the, the best ones I remember are the people and the messages, you know, they gave to me, and that, that should always be the same, no matter how good the facilities and the pitches are. The people who deliver the messages every single day, you know, shouldn't get, you know, blurred by all these new beautiful facilities because Academy World will burst when the, the bubble, you know, that you're kind of in. We're hoping that with the people we have, you know, we re make real positive impact for all, our youngsters to be, you know, strong individuals, you know, who can s strive in life, basically. And, and if people really want to know what's going on, I guess they can watch Inside Hail End, the documentary we're here to talk exactly, about. Exactly, exactly. Inside Hail End um, will play a key part, or played a real key part, you know, in our last season to show an inside of our under 15, under 16 seasons uh, with all the challenges, you know, in terms of decision time, you know, scholarships, um, but as well then releases and what, what happens there um, in terms of our care and how we transition players out of the club. and. Our players get recruited, so it's a real inside story, and we really to, to wanted to show everyone what we are about. I mean, how, is, is it your sole job just to produce players for the Cubs first team? Is that you sit down? No, yeah. no, that's not my sole job. Um, I want to create strong young gunners, you know, and these are uh, young individuals who can cope um, with any challenge in life. Basically, that's our job. You know, that's our job t on on an everyday basis because only the one percent, you know will be the Bukaya Sakas and um, for the rest we have a duty of care so that's what I mean with you know there's an obsession for challenge constantly but sometimes there's as well the care that you know really finding the balance between you know wanting to be that superstar but having the well-rounded kid that is able to get released and then you know kind of pursue a career somewhere else. I remember when Liam Brady had your job he was the first Head of the yeah. Academy, he said that Arsene Wenger was saying, who have, who have you got me? Yeah. Who have you got me? And he said it was about three years before Ashley Cole came through. Yeah. So it's a real, they say getting a successful first team to process, but with the younger players it's a much even longer um, process, isn't it? Yes, we have huge inspiration in the first team, you know, and this is really something that drives our youngsters to be their, to be their best every single day. And we want to use football as a vehicle to instill the right standards and values, which will help them in any path. But I know that Mikel is knocking on the door. Where's the next? Who's the next? You know, that's part of the job as well. And that gives us buzz as well. Um, so I'm pretty excited about what the future holds for us because Arsenal's DNA has always been, you know, giving youth players a chance. And the academy is at the forefront of everything, of the investment, um, you know, on the facility side, but as well on the human side. The, the youngest team in the Premier League is that last season, yes. might be this season as well. So he obviously, when he knocks on the door, you say. <laughs> Try him. Have you got some names for him? Any, any new ones coming through this season? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that, that's always a challenge, you know. We have a young squad, so um, we want to grow and develop them in terms of the first team that they can achieve big things. But we want to provide always opportunities and chances for pre season, you know, through the year for our youngsters who are knocking on the door and ask Mikel the questions, you know, I'm, I'm ready for the challenge, I'm ready for the next step. So there's an element of patience that we need to grow, you know, within the staff. Uh, as well within the players because um, it's not always easy you know to make that final step that's why we are facilitating more pathways the loans market is, is more interesting to us nowadays to give them playing time access to platforms to markets you know where can they, where they can make their career if it's not to be at Arsenal it must give you pride that Hale is becoming like a byword for yeah. <laughs> especially with Bataio and, and Emil Smith-Rowe yeah. you just see, see the fans here the fans cheering about it singing about it how does that feel? Um, 
I mean, it's amazing to have a place and have to trust from the club, you know, to develop something that is, has got real meaning, you know, for the boys, for the staff, for the parents. So everyone that comes into Halen and has got that first kind of view of, of, of developing youngsters who are ready to make the next step into London Colney, do their 18s and 21s there and be, have a real platform. So Halen, and it just shows, you know, how important that is, you know, to figure out talent, you know, in the early stages under eight, under nine, you know, incorporate it into our system and really make it work for everyone. And never forget where they come from and always use football as a fantastic opportunity for our kids to learn the right values. And would you also sort of pay credit to the people who started home? Going back to yeah. being brave and asking whether it's just a, a dusty old ground. Yeah, the, there are more people, you know, um, to it. You know, you started by Liam Brady, Arsene Wenger, Steve Leonard, Roy Massey, all these people, you know, are so important and has instilled the DNA from day one, you know, and has given us a real life light of, of youngsters and provide an opportunity. So without them, you know, I wouldn't sit here. Without them, we wouldn't have the, the, the pipeline of, of youngsters, you know, from Halen going into the first team. So I'm super grateful to all the staff that work now and has worked for, for Arsenal that, that made really the difference. Well, I wish all the success for the season. Obviously, Thank the you. Work, obviously, the first team doing well. The young Thank guys you. are getting a bit older. How do you think they're going to progress this season in Europe as well? Again? I think we have got an exciting season. I hope that you know that you know we kind of manage well the Thursday Sunday fixtures. You know, Europa League. There, there's an entry point to the Champions League. If you win it, there's an entry point through the top four. I think these are the kind of um, real challenges we have, and our aim really is to make the next step hopefully this season but I have all the trust in Mikel you know that he sets the right standards you know for us to slowly grow into an even better position all right